I've got something a little bit different for you today. Now, it seems to be well known that YouTubers, as a species, are pretty into coffee. Most of them at some point seemingly have done a how to brew coffee guide, and I suppose I'm no different. But what is new-ish, what is different, is YouTubers getting into coffee in a brand type way. So I've got here two different products from two different pretty big YouTubers. So first up, we have the Golden Hour Blend. Now this is a collab between Peter McKinnon, you'll probably know him as a photographer, videographer, Canadian, uh, and James Coffee Company, who are a San Diego-based coffee company. I think one of the founders is a famous musician, a guy called David Kennedy, who is in a band called Angels and Airwaves that honestly, I. I just haven't really heard of. Uh, I've been following Peter McKinnon for a long time. I've known him to be into coffee for a long time. He He's someone very much kind of on my radar. Now, the other thing we have here is from a much bigger YouTuber called Emma Chamberlain. Now, if you don't know who Emma Chamberlain is, I am, I am definitely not qualified to tell you. But if you do, she needs no explanation. She is a massive creator on the platform and she's gotten into coffee too. Now, She's not roasting the coffee. Peter McKinnon is not roasting the coffee, but but her name is very much on the product here. So this is her coffee company, which is a little bit different. And it's it's a whole other product. So this is not beans. This is a pre-ground kind of tea bag of coffee. Now I had two very different experiences buying these products. This was very easy to buy. The shipping was brutally expensive, but it was here in like two days which meant that I had to go straight into the freezer because sometimes the freezer is good, but this is not for now, while I waited for the other one. The Chamberlain coffee was a less enjoyable purchasing experience. I bought it at exactly the same time and I waited and I heard nothing. And so after a little while, after several days, I emailed them and said, hey, just wanting an update? To which I received no reply. And then a week after that, I, I chase again and f finally get a response from someone saying, oh yeah, there's a problem with your shipping address. What's your shipping address? I was like, it's the address in the confirmation email that you sent me. And no one really responded or acknowledged that. And then eventually they shipped me some coffee and it finally turned up. So as a customer experience, very good, but expensive and just very bad actually. But this is a taste test first and foremost. The question is, are these any good? Are they delicious? Should you buy them? If, if you like them as YouTubers, would I recommend their coffee? So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna brew up some coffee. We're gonna brew this as they recommend on the back of the bag. I suspect that, you know, Peter McKinnon, big Chemex fan, and there's a Chemex recipe on the back of the bag. So we're gonna brew it in the Chemex exactly as they would want us to. And then here, we're gonna brew this weird little tea bag in a cup of hot water and see what happens. Let's find out. So first up is the McKinnon, is the James Coffee Co. And a little bit of a surprise for me. I don't know why, but I thought this was gonna be a little bit of a darker roast. This is actually really pretty light. It smells, there's a little berry fruit in there, but there's also just a little bit of kind of green vegetal smells that suggests that it might be a, a touch too light for, for my taste anyway. We'll find out, let's get this brewing. Now they do give actually a pretty good brewing guide. Um, they hit a lot of the things that I would recommend when brewing with the Chemex or anything else. So we're gonna brew a two to one bloom. Now I'm gonna swirl the bloom, which they don't recommend, but you know, get everything nicely saturated. And they recommend a 45 second bloom, which I'm fully on board with. This is 48 grams in, we're gonna brew a total of 720, so about 66, 67 grams per liter. Again, perfectly sensible dose aiming for a four minute 30 brew time. So points here for, for good brewing guide. Seven twenty. There is a recommended stir, which I approve of also. <coughs> and now we wait for the drain. Should take four and a half minutes. So we have brewed this exactly to spec. It was eight seconds late. I think that's acceptable. Fight me. Uh, so we'll let that cool down. We'll leave that here. And now it is the time to, I don't think we need the scales even, to brew the Chamberlain coffee. This as a brewing process comes in three stages. Uh, you, you put it in here. We're gonna pour water over it. We're gonna dunk it around like a tea bag. We're gonna let it hang out for a while. And at some point we'll have coffee. It feels easier. There's not the same kind of really specific instructions that you have over here for a brewing guide. 
this is much more relaxed, easy, friendly, approachable, not weird and geeky like us. Now this thing smells pretty dark, actually. This smells like a much, much darker roast than, than the McKinnon. What's kind of interesting here is actually the components on paper are a little bit similar between the two. The Golden Hour blend is, I think, coffees from Guatemala, Colombia, and Brazil. Though, if you go to the website, you can see exactly which farms they're buying from, which is good. Here, the, the Chamberlain coffee, not a lot of detail other than it's from, I think, uh, Guatemala, Colombia, and Nicaragua, but not the same kind of detail, certainly, uh, on, on there, anyway. Now, we freshly boiled some water, and we gently, apparently, pour eight ounces over the top of this. That was our submerged stage. And then we, we do the saturate, which is the dunk for 15 seconds with the up and down. Or you can dunk for longer for added strength. Now it says to leave the bag in until you've reached your preferred strength. Now I, I don't really know when that is because I'll, I'll need to take the bag out to taste it. And then I guess, do I put it back in? I don't know. From the color, it looks like we've got plenty of flavor out of these grounds. Now this is, I think a pretty dark roast and darker roasts do give up their flavors a little bit more easily. Just pull you out of there. Looks a bit, looks a bit too strong actually. I might just top that up with a little water. It's tricky. You definitely want to top up afterwards. You wouldn't want to dunk in a really full cup. That would be awkward. So I think the top up is probably a good thing. Now this is too hot to drink, and they do say wait five minutes plus. I would say ten minutes plus. And I'm also going to decant some of the uh, McKinnon slash James coffee. Lovely. And then our assessment can begin. So. Let's let these cool down a little bit, and then we can we can do some proper tasting. And I'll tell you if they're good or bad, or somewhere in the middle. If you're new to the language of coffee tasting, I'm gonna try and keep it not too weird. Coffee people can get really weird when they come to describing coffee flavor. I'm, I'm not gonna to get too crazy with it, too pretentious, I hope. So let's start with the golden hour. Now the tasting notes for this, there's just three. Red berry, sweet cocoa, Salted caramel, interesting last choice. The Chamberlain coffee, sort of similar vibes, right? Tasting notes of chocolate, cherry, and nuts. So both of them aiming for a, like a crowd pleasery type bunch of flavors. When you see berry flavors on there or cherry flavors, that suggests a little bit of acidity in the coffee. When you see words like chocolate or nuts or that kind of stuff, it suggests some sweetness would be there naturally within the coffee. Let's find out. I'm pleasantly surprised, if I'm honest. There's some nice sweetness in this cup. It's definitely um, pleasant. It's an enjoyable cup of coffee. I can nitpick it, and I'll do that in a minute, but but fundamentally, it feels like there's some pretty good raw coffee in there, and the roast, I don't really have any arguments with. As YouTuber coffee goes, so far, I'm a little bit impressed. Let's have a little taste of the Chamberlain. Now this smells like a much, much darker roast. And, and it tastes like a much, much darker roast. If you like dark roasts, that's totally okay. If you like dark roasts, you absolutely shouldn't buy this and you might enjoy this a lot more. Generally speaking, the sort of darker, the deeper you roast coffee, the less acidity it will have when you drink it, the less of its kind of um, origin characteristics, the less it'll have its own distinct flavors, uh, and, and the more bitterness you'll have. But at the same time, the more body you'll have. It'll have more texture, it'll feel fuller and richer. Some people really hate acidity in coffee and really love texture and heaviness and that little bit of bitterness. They enjoy that. They enjoy darker roasts. I, I, I don't because I really enjoy tasting kind of where the coffee came from. So I'm drawn to sort of lighter roasts. You can roast so light that it's not pleasant and those tastes can become quite grassy and quite harsh, quite vegetal often. And there's a little tiny bit of that in here. If I was to be super critical, it's just a tiny bit underdeveloped. I don't know which of the three components is a little underdeveloped, but something's a little bit grassy and green in there for me. The Chamberlain coffee, it's a kind of dominant bitterness. It has a nice texture. It feels very full, very heavy. If you like milk or cream in your coffee, this is designed for that, I feel. But if you like the taste of coffee, then that's kind of been roasted out a little bit more with this. When it comes to the descriptors of like chocolate and nuts, I kind of get what you're trying to say with this coffee. Cherry, I don't think there's anything that resembles cherry in here for me. 
if I'm honest. And so I, I, I guess it's ultimately not surprising that I kind of prefer this one. It comes in whole beans. It's clearly designed for somebody that has a grinder at home that really enjoys the process of making coffee. This is the exact opposite. It's in a tea bag of coffee. It's supposed to be as easy as possible to make this product. That's kind of a, a big part of this whole thing, convenience. Am I saying don't buy this because I don't like it? Well, no, not really. I mean, one, you might like darker roasts. Two, you might really value the convenience factor here. Three, you might just want to support Emma Chamberlain. And I get that. And for the same reason, if you really love Peter McKinnon and want to support him, you might want to buy this. There are a lot of coffee roasting companies in the US, in Canada, in Europe, around the world now. Like, there's a huge amount of choice. And so I guess that, you know, actually, collaborations like this are a good reason to try James Coffee Co. Like, I, I think that's a nice idea. I think it's a nice way to bring new people in uh, if you're a coffee business trying to find a new audience to connect with. That makes good sense. So if you're a huge McKinnon fan, if you love coffee, yeah, do it, give it a go. But if you like dark roast though, do be warned, this is absolutely not that. This is really pretty light. Now I'm aware in being critical of this coffee that I think it might be roasted like a little bit light in places that, that this is dangerous territory for me. I feel like I don't wanna do coffee reviews on this channel generally because I kind of have a coffee company and I don't wanna imply that somehow we're perfect and that I'm just criticizing everyone else. That's not really the goal, that's not what I wanna do. But this is an unusual event. Like it's not every day you get to drink coffee from two different YouTubers and have some fun with it. Now, before I wrap up, I do have a bunch of the Chamberlain coffee left over and I'll be giving away and I'll tell you how to win that after I tell you about this video sponsor, which is Squarespace. Now, whenever I wanna build a website, I use Squarespace. And in the past I've used Squarespace for a showcase for my own work or for my book, but maybe you wanna start your own coffee company too. Well, with Squarespace, it couldn't be easier. Start by picking one of their templates and they have a host to choose from and they're beautiful, but they're easy to customize to look just how you want to. And e-commerce is built right in. All of the scary, complicated stuff about starting to sell online, they make that very easy. There is 24 seven email support and there's nothing to patch or upgrade or worry about in the future, but don't take my word for it. Use the link below and sign up for a free trial. Build a website build a web store, create a little business. And when you're ready to launch, use code James Hoffman for 10% off any website or domain. Thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. So if you're watching this and you want some of the Chamberlain coffee, if you're a fan of hers or you just, just want to try coffee in a tea bag, just leave a comment down below. I'll pick a six different random comments and I'll send them coffee. How's that? Let's do that. So there you have it. Peter McKinnon versus Emma Chamberlain. For me, the McKinnon experience was just way better. Like it was easier to buy online. It was a more enjoyable experience. It was very expensive because of that shipping, but it was super fast. I enjoyed the coffee. I think that the detail is great. Pack looks good. Thumbs up from me. I, I, I'm a little bit impressed. My expectations were, were surpassed. The Chamberlain coffee, I enjoyed a little bit less, but I'm not really that target audience for that. I'm a weird coffee person. And, and maybe you don't have to be a weird coffee person to enjoy this. So I get it. It's just not my kind of thing. But there you go. There's the review. Have you tried these? Let me know. Have you tasted either of these? Do you like them? Are you buying them regularly? Were they kind of one-off purchase for a little bit of fun? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. I'm going to say thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.